Dear friends and colleagues, I'm Dr. Francesco Mangano and I welcome you back to the Mangano Digital Academy and to the essential of digital dentists. In this series of videos and lectures, we have uh, talked about different aspects of planning with digital dentistry, particularly in uh, implant prostodontics, but also in prostodontics in general. And in this lecture, I will talk about uh, an interesting opportunity that we have now for uh, prosto and also for neatology and uh, potentially also for the orthodontics. Uh, we will talk about the digital bite splint. It's uh, an interesting topic for me because I've studied neatology for uh, many years and I'm really interested in that. I'm interested in temporal mandibular disorders, but in general, now the digital dentistry gives us more possibilities to treat patient in a smooth, very direct and straightforward way and it's really nice to, to do it and I will show you some case in order to understand how we work in order to share our knowledge and our uh, the way we work with you. Uh, once again digital dentistry is based on four steps and these steps are the scan, data acquisition from the real to the virtual. We have several devices like combined computer tomography, intraoral, desktop and face scanners and digital condylography to gather data three-dimensional data from our patient. These data are then transferred to software. We have uh, surgical software, prosthetic software, and we also have uh, um, software for orthodontics. With this software, we make our plans, uh, our evaluations, we perform our diagnosis, and most of the time we also elaborate our treatment plan. And we design things. We design, for example, restoration, crown bridges, we design surgical template, we design bias for example for orthodontic treatments or, or um, other things and then we can produce and make these uh, devices and go again from virtual to real using milli units using printer using technique like selective laser sintering and selective laser melting and we can then apply these devices the surgical templates uh, clinically for example for surgery these bites we will talk about the bite the bite splints for, um, for example, maintaining the results after orthodontic treatment to, to uh, I mean, um, to help the, the patient suffering from temporal mandibular disorder or a centric um, uh, relation bite. We have several options. Also, of course, we can meal our prosthetic restoration. This is digital dentistry, more or less. And let's go to the bite splint in particular and how to design a bite splint in a modern way because we have several options, of course, but today we have also the material and the printer to print bite splint directly and they work very well. So how we work, how we proceed in this case, we take an intraoral scan of our patient and uh, this is the first appointment. Then in the second uh, appointment, we can immediately deliver our bite splint. Uh, the planning is made entirely in computer assisted design software and um, I have to say that uh, we have also this option today uh, during the first appointment not only scanning the patient with an intraoral scan but also using a digital condylography a machine like Mojo uh, very powerful to gather data of the movement of the mandible in the space individual movements in order to gather data individually, of course, of that patient, those movements customized in order to replicate this movement in the virtual articulator with the export of this uh, movement exactly inside the computer assisted design software. And with Mojo, it's possible. I will show you something later. But the point is that this information, intraoral scan plus digital condylography, all together. They are sent to the dental technician. The dental technician make a plan, design is bite splint, and then the only thing that we need to do is to export the standard tessellation language of this bite splint in order to print the model, to print the bite splint, to check the bite splint on the model, and then to apply the bite splint clinically in a second appointment. So more or less the first appointment can take 30 minutes to, to one hour if we use the Mojo as well, but it's much better because we have individual information about the temporal mandibular joints and the movement of the, the mandible of the patient. It's very good to functionalize the bite at best. Otherwise, if we want to act like 
medium in medium terms we can avoid to use the digital condi logo but we need the intraoral scan and this is how it works in a very simple case a very accurate scan is given by the cs3700 i always save my scans in a high resolution i prefer to do it but sometimes for ortho and for these purposes like for a byte spleen you can also save them in medium resolution 200,000 triangle per model is sufficient you don't need to have 400,000, but why not because we have this option no issue at all we need to capture the model in maximum intercuspation so be, please be careful when you capture the bite because you need to transfer this information to the dental technician check that the patient is really closing well check that the patient is not moving exactly in this moment check that the intensity of the maximum intercuspation is the correct one you can check it intraorally you can capture two or three bytes per side in order to be sure that everything has been made correctly usually technically there are some issues when you scan for example on the right side there must be some uh, uh, problem on the left side because the patient tend to bite more and stronger when the scanner is on the side where the scanner is so please check the patient close it perfectly in maximum intercuspation in symmetry and then you can eventually register more information using a, a machine like Mojo for the individual registration of the jaw movements and these jaw movements are exocat compatible so you can export this movement inside the exocat so the dental technician can plan um, in a virtual dental articulator having all the setting of the articulator itself and having all the movements of the mandible according to the real movement of the patient it's really the fourth dimension in uh, prosthesis in prostodontics in neatology in orthodontics is really very cool machine and i suggest this machine because it's really fantastic uh, and then we in this very simple case the dental technician doesn't want to do nothing special the, he wants to design a bite for relaxing the the, the muscle or the masto masticatory system and and the jaw uh, and basically a vertical dimension of occlusion is modified according to the plan for creating the space for the bite and this bite splint is designed accordingly using the operator of the exocad uh, software the computer assisted design software for the prosto in this case valuable tool also for designing the bite splint this is the design of the bite splint and this is the bite splint in the exocad dental cut virtual articulator with the models so the antagonist and the uh, master model of course we need to capture also the antagonist otherwise not possible to properly design a bite splint and here the bite splint standard tessellation language files from different perspective it's very important to um, control the quality of these files before to go to the printing uh, machine to the 3d printer in this case i'm using a, a software um, autodesk developed particularly by uh, w2p for voco because i'm using this uh, printer exactly the solflex 350 by voco in order to print all my byte splints because uh, it's very easy to print these byte splints using this machine and the material that they have are fantastic because they are reliable mechanically resistant and they are also very comfortable and they change uh, uh, they change in phase uh, during uh, the, the, the after the they have been printed and after the post cooling process so it's really interesting you can uh, print them so it's very important to have of course the uh, adequate support and also to prepare a base adequate to print the the, the model then you have to print uh, uh, sorry the, the, the bytes and also then you have to print the model the model can be printed with uh, in, in, in resin with uh, appropriate material also by the voco and then you can stabilize the model with a little bit of uh, um, stone or um, as we used in the past and uh, these are the the, the byte splint printed by the solflex 350 by voco uh, the material is really very interesting because it is reliable it is mechanically resistant and we can work with very thin layer and i think it's uh, the very beginning of a, a path that will bring us to print probably the aligner in a very reasonable time frame but at the moment for the bright plane is perfect this is the printing plate in this case two identical copies with the printed with the v-print spleen comfort material that is absolutely the material for the case 
a job like this can last for can 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 take uh, approximately for the, for the printing three to four hours but it's very accurate what it comes from and uh, then we can of course see the two identical copies of the byte we need of course to 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 they need to undergo a post uh, process they need to be cleaned by the uh, using alkaline they need to be cured in a special machine uh, given by the voco we use 2000 lumen in this case the post processing is quite fast in two minutes everything is ready and then we can uh, check everything in the adaptation of the byte splints on the model the model 3d printer this is the the, the byte splint after cooling it's very interesting because the material is hardened very well but at the same time it's very comfortable and we can work also with thin layer it's not too, too thick, it's not too, I mean, uh, difficult to, to, to wear for the patient. It's very comfortable and it's a good, good advancement in the term of material uh, by, by Voco in particular. And as we can see, the adaptation on the 3D printed model is almost perfect. We don't have to do too much. We can a little bit, the dental technician can a little bit modify and polish and smooth it if needed. Then the dental technician wanted to recheck everything in articulator using the to compare a little bit the results obtained when in planet with the virtual articulator with a real articulator for a final dynamic check of the occlusion and with the jaw movements and everything worked well. I mean, more or less like the one planet. And we could deliver the, the, the bytes for the clinical application and everything worked very well because the material is comfortable, thin but resistant. And uh, the possibility to print directly the bite uh, allow us to skip some steps that were before unavoidable, like the one of printing the model and then um, creating the bite uh, in a very conventional way on the model. That is also quite difficult because of the material. Um, and uh, the best thing is to proceed. So it's very reliable, it's very accurate, it's very, I mean, uh, long lasting because we have some patient with this bite for four months and, and and they don't have any issue from mechanical point of view and the 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 the, the results uh, uh, clinically are very i mean uh, very nice because uh, for example patient with temporomandibular jaw disorder they can be treated accordingly with this pre-treatment and uh, it's very comfortable and it can allow to reduce the pain of the uh, temporomandibular joints to uh, Re, I mean, um, reduce the discomfort in the muscular, in the muscle and in the in the in the in the masticatory system, and, and help also to avoid the uh, destruction of the uh, tooth substance in in some cases. So it's a really nice application, and uh, I want to thank you very much for your kind attention. Uh, now it's really possible to design in computer assisted design software and to print excellent uh, bite splints for many purposes uh, orthodontic purposes uh, purposes for the temporomandibular joint treatments for neatology and uh, it's a very fascinating field that is uh, going under development very fast with uh, an improvement of the material that have been incredible in the last months and i think we will see also more improvement in, in the next months and in the future. Thank you very much for your attention.